Let's discuss the project about the automated real-time detection of potential suspicious behavior in public transport areas. In this paper, a complete semantic based behavior recognition approach that depends on object tracking have been introduced and extensively investigated. The proposed framework obtains 2D object level information by detecting and tracking people and luggage in the scene using a real-time blob matching technique. Based on the temporal properties of these blobs, behavior and events are semantically recognized by employing object and inter object motion features and number of types of behavior that are relevant to security in public transport areas have been selected to demonstrate the capabilities of this approach. Example of this um, one, abundant and stolen object, fighting, painting and loitering. A main object of the proposed work is detecting of suspicious activity in a public transport area using video surveillance has attracted an increasing level of attention. In general, automated offline video processing system have been used for post-event analysis such as forensics and uh, riot investigations. Uh, in this paper, they are doing in real time. Uh, uh, here also, we are applying the offline video processing. In this project, we introduced a framework that processes raw video data received from the fixed camera. This is the flow of our process. First, we load our input video. Uh, it, then it will be converted it into frames and we are applying the pre-processing step for the each and every frame. In the pre-processing, uh, we are uh, removing the noises from our input frames. Uh, noise is nothing but some unwanted information that contaminates on image. These noises are removal here. Uh, we are applying Gaussian filter to removing the noises. Then we will go for the uh, identifying blocks using background subtraction. Here we are applying conventional background subtraction. Uh, in this process, we separate the foreground and background from the frames. A common assumption of background subtraction is then certain attributes of the objects of interested change more rapidly than the background scene. The simplest method of background subtraction keep uh, running mean or median of previous frames as a model for the background. This is efficient and simple to implement. We convert the frames as a binary image. It consists of uh, zeros and ones value. Uh, we want to assign each pixel to the either foreground or background in order to maximize the combined uh, compression of mask, foreground and background. And then we are going for object modeling. In the object modeling, uh, using uh, two techniques, color histogram and intersection. In our object uh, modeling approach, at each frame, a list of objects is updated by matching blobs in the current frames with objects from the previous ones. This matching process is not necessarily one-to-one. -one. Cases of object splits merge one-to-one -one matches creates and relation. To match blobs and objects in two consecutive frames, color histogram and spatial information are used. The color histogram uh, or all examined to ensure a correct update. The color histogram are adaptively updated 5 frames per second using where all has the learning rate and uh, then we will find the threshold in between 0 0.45 to 0 0.6 means uh, it will be not uh, occluded in uh, occlusion. If it uh, increases means it will be occluded. Uh, we are doing the occlusion handling. Occlusion handling is a critical task because it bears on the robustness of object tracking and coherence. Uh, in this framework, the issue of which object are occluded, which is completely ignored and we adopt the position that all merged objects form a, form a pool with no particular occluded relations being noted. We also create a dummy object for the pool that exhibits the adaptive appearance model necessary for blob matching. Then we will go for uh, extracting the features. Here we are using Gabber feature to extract the uh, features and we will classify with the help of uh, with the help of these features we will classify the behaviors like uh, fainting, fighting, abundant luggage like that. Let us see the execution of the process. First we select main.m file and click run file. This is a Marlab guy window designed for our process. First we load our input video. And this is a data set available in our data uh, process. Uh, video is successfully loaded. It will take some time to play the video. 
now our video is played here one person is walking here then walking and meeting is uh, playing here then frame conversion our next step is frame conversion that is worked here then we will go for our pre-processing step in the pre-processing noise is removed here each and every frames uh, process is going on here with a gaussian filter to remove the noises process is going on all frame, uh, frames are pre-processed here each and every frame we will removing the noises there are totally 989 frames in our video then we will go for our background subtraction uh, here we are applying the conventional background subtraction method to ex extract the foreground objects this is a background subtraction result our algorithm extract the foreground objects uh, with the subtraction of the foreground and the background then we will go for object to blob matching uh, from the object to blob matching the from the threshold uh, it will be detected if some if even this this uh, type of frames if here these two persons are actually ordered so uh, related to this the threshold is uh, extended uh, as given in the base paper so it will be directed the occlusion with the help of the object to blob matching then the feature extraction step is uh, done for each and every frame it will be extracted the features and uh, it will be tracking the object process is going on it will take some time then we will go for classific then the classification uh, the first uh, the person is uh, walking so it is uh, returning the loitering stage mm. Then we prove the overall algorithm works properly. Thank you.